All right, guys, we're at the NBA Experience. Huge shout out to the NBA yes. for bringing yes. us out here. It's the first time for us. Yeah, absolutely. First uh, media experience. We've been invited to two places, but not Disney, right. and we've never gotten media passes before. So right. this is a yeah, this first is a time first for Kremlin Nation for us. So, so huge shout out to the NBA for letting for making that happen. Yeah, Ola Depot is about to shoot. Yeah, Ola Depot is about to shoot at us. So. Uh, are just a layup away. This was developed in cooperation with Walt Disney Imagineering and the NBA, inspired by the league's 29 arenas around the country. NBA experience will highlight the heart-pounding action and excitement of the NBA world. Let's also give a huge round of applause to WNBA legend, Quinn Cash. Make some noise for Indiana Pacers guard Victor Oladipo! to me. In fact, my wife, Willow Bay, worked for the NBA for eight years, NBA Inside Stuff, and my sons who are here with me this morning are also huge fans. Of course, Disney and ESPN have long enjoyed a great relationship with the NBA, covering games and following NBA news and developments almost 24-7, 12 months of the year. In fact, the NBA has never been more popular or exciting, and we're thrilled to expand our relationship with the league and to partner with them on this one-of-a-kind experience. I want to thank NBA Commissioner Adam Silver for our great partnership. We're excited to open the doors to a fun and unique experience for basketball fans of all ages. I want to thank and congratulate our Imagineers for this too. They've done a great job in creating this experience. 
but we look forward to inviting all of you inside to see for yourselves in just a minute. But first, I'm going to turn this over to my friend, Commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver, for a few comments. Adam? Well, let me just say thank you to you and your team, your Imagineers. Wait till all of you see this incredible experience. It exceeded all of our expectations. To the WNBA, NBA players, legends for being here. Thanks so much. It means a lot to have my colleagues out on the stage with us. And let me just say from the NBA standpoint, um, we want to be Disney when we grow up. This, this is, these types of experiences are what the league's all about. When you step foot into an arena, the excitement, you'll feel it when you come into the tunnel, the energy, the dancers, as you just saw. Only a few people in the world get to actually experience it, some of these people on the stage. But this is the next best thing. You're going to be in a real NBA and WNBA locker room. You're going to get to dunk. You're going to get to shoot free throws. There's skill competitions. I mean, this is the NBA experience, as brought to you as no one else can the way Disney and their Imagineers can. So, Bob, once again, thank you on behalf of everybody in the NBA. We, we're so pleased with what we're seeing here today. And all of you, thank you for coming out today. Good luck inside. Five, four, three, two, one. We are here with the NBA uh, to cover the NBA experience at Disney World. Uh, Aaron Gordon, hometown guy, Orlando, uh, bunch of fans for you. Um, so have you done anything inside of here today or you just been on stage? Yeah, I've just been trying to, uh, I've just been talking to the guys that were brought up here with me, like Victor, G Hill, Kareem, UD. D Wade, these are legends, yeah. man. These are legends. Swing Cash, uh, Mike Conley, you know. So these are all like really, really great basketball players. So just talking to them, yeah. trying to pick up some things, piece of information from them. Yeah. How's it feel like to be, uh, you know, you're still young and up and coming in the NBA. How do you feel to be on the stage with Hall of Famers, future Hall of Famers like Dwayne Wade? How does it feel to be with him? Yeah, yeah it's just I'm starstruck, man. I'm yeah. Starstruck, so. <laughs> Yeah, thank, right. thank you. Uh, so we're here with the NBA, brought us out to the NBA experience. Uh, Mike Conley, guard Same. for the now Utah Jazz. Uh, how does it feel like to, uh, you know, go to Utah? Have you met any of the guys yet? Mitchell, Gobert, any yeah. of them? Yeah, uh, first off, it's, 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 a good, it's a good feeling, man. Um, coming to a, a great organization. Uh, it's a great city, great mm -hmm. fans. Uh, I did get to spend some time with Donovan and, and Rudy. Uh, this off season already, so I'm excited to you know get to experience uh, you know the season with them. All right, and we were watching you uh, on the Papa shot over here. Uh, we were wondering if you ever miss because <laughs> I think we watched you for like maybe 10, 15 seconds. And I think you might have missed once. Oh man, so. I would I wasn't even paying attention really, but um, I, I definitely miss. I definitely okay. miss. It's one of my my favorite games though. All right. Uh, so how's the NBA experience so far? Anything that you've gotten to experience? Um, it's really cool. Uh, you, I actually shook David. I mean, uh, not David, but uh, Adam Silver's uh, hand. Of his oh, mannequin. The, the <laughs> um, and uh, it was pretty cool to do that all over again. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. And, uh, got to play a little bit of the NBA 2K. My mm -hmm. son, we played on this pop shot machine a little bit. Uh, they say there's a dunk, a dunking experience yeah. in here. And I don't know if I want to do it or if I want my, <laughs> you know, want my kids to do it mm -hmm. or whatever. But we'll we'll see what happens. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm going with the pop shot. Is that is that on the on the answer? Yeah, I'm definitely going with the pop shot. I'm challenging anybody to pop a shot in here. All right, very good. All right, anybody else? We got a couple different games. What are you thinking? What, what experiences? Well, I, I might accept that challenge. Uh, I'm, I'm about twice the age of Aaron, and uh, I've been doing pop and shot a lot longer, and I, that's all I can do at this point in my life. So uh, I have young kids. That's what I've mastered. So we, uh, when this is over, we might have to go over there and do a friendly little battle. Yeah, I'm about I called my agent when I found out about this place. I told him I had to be here. So I wasn't really invited. Yeah. I forced my way into this event. I think for me, I came to Disney when I was six or seven. So back in the 70s. And um, here at Magic Kingdom. And 
took a picture with Goofy. And so, uh, and I could kind of relate. I was tall, I had big ears, kind of goofy, a little awkward. And so that was uh, someone who I've always enjoyed. And I get to see him now with my kids. You know, the fact that there's more characters now and so on and so forth. But, but Goofy has a, a special place in my heart. Tell him that? No. Tell him. You ready? Am I, I'm not going to get a threes. Huh? I'm not going to get a threes. Um, right now, if you complete the all five spots, they'll let you go on the three point. So, three point quick. This way. Would you say it? Okay, let's show you just a second. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. Don't shoot the jump shot. Ain't the 
Look here. You guys might not understand, but it makes a world of a difference. You think about the great jump shooters that have come through this league and the great jump shooters to the day. The routine is the same. Evan Fournier, J.J. Reddick, Clay Thompson, Kyle Porter. It's the routine. It's here. Make a miss. Once you get into that routine, it's like muscle memory, like you lift the weights. If you stop lifting for a while, you come back here, your body's sore, but your body say, hey, I remember doing that. It's the same thing. Here, make a miss. When you practice it, it's, you know, make a miss. We want to miss every time. You see Clay Thompson, you see a lot of them guys, when they make that shot, it's like this. Everybody taking a picture. Chase basically got a got a shooting lesson, like a five minute shooting yeah. lesson. So like, I don't know, just so cool. Hey, your shots broke. The Tim Tracker, the probably one of, if not the most uh, well-known Disney vloggers out there. No, no, no. <laughs> um, how have you enjoyed this experience so far? So far, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't done very much. All I did was a slingshot and the slam dunk, but the slingshot was really fun. You said the slingshot was like super hard. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't make any of them at all. Yeah, but so. it was still fun to do. Yeah, and then the slam dunk. In, I mean, it was neat to be able to raise the, right. the basket up and down and, like, I've never slam dunked before. Right. And I did today, but I'm, like, out of shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. I'm not very good at slam dunking. Yeah. No. Even if I could. 
And it seems like it's a lot of fun though because it provides people that can't do NBA type things the ability to do NBA type things. Yeah. So that's a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun to mingle with just NBA players. Yeah, they're like all walking around everywhere. Yeah, and they all seem super cool and approachable. So that's been great. So great event by Disney. Um, I guess one more question. Of all the things that you do in Disney, you go almost every day, I'm sure. Or right. You're here 24 7, basically, often, it seems pretty like. Often. Yeah, yeah. What is the one thing that, even though you're here all the time, that when you still go and do it, still like you enjoy it as much as the first time you ever did it? There's a lot of them. But Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. I love Tower of Terror. Yeah. That's, so much fun. That's a great answer because it's yeah. like the thing to do in Hollywood Studios. So. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, thanks. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. across the House of Blues. Uh, it looks like you can find anything from any team in here. So this is Philadelphia Kids Jersey, Magic Kids Jersey, Rocket Gear, uh, New Era hats, jerseys, socks, just about everything. So if you're an NBA fan of any team, this looks like it's going to be an awesome place. at the personal research station you can actually get a magic bank with your favorite team's logo. That looks nice. That looks nice. That what does do it. That looks really nice. You gonna get it? I think so. Let me see uh, You gonna get one for both of us? Maybe. Alright guys, that's going to conclude our mm -hmm. first media Disney media event. We've done one for Universal before but this is our first Disney event, yep. and it couldn't have gone better. Oh yeah, it was insane. We met a lot of uh, f hopefully future friends. We got to interview uh, some NBA players, Mike Conley, Aaron Gordon. So for me, that alone made this worth it. Um, I don't know. It was just weird to be around. No, oh, yeah. And like, I got coached by the Orlando Ma Magic, the Orlando coach, Magic that... coach, and it was just like no, mind yeah, like like the experience we got to experience today is once in a lifetime thing like to be able to interview mike conley to be able to yeah. interview aaron uh gordon to be able to get coached up by an nba coach like those type of things don't happen and we can't thank the nba enough yeah. for sending us out providing us with this awesome experience hopefully you guys will do us a favor like this video subscribe to our channel okay. be sure to visit the nba experience website uh, it's going to be on our stories we're going to have multiple posts about it on instagram also, be sure to go to the link here that we're going to provide down in the, the comments, comments below. But I will say two things. For one, I work in a job where I get to be around famous people a lot, uh, especially athletes. Yeah, because my arm's killing me. Uh, where I get to be around athletes a lot. So I think the coolest thing for me, though, was being able to interview Tim Tracker, somebody yeah. who has changed the vlogging world, the Disney vlogging world for everybody. Um, I think Disney, especially now, is super open to bringing people in from the outside to, to create content and be on social media. Yeah. We also met some uh, people from Disney. Hopefully, that's going to lead to, to bigger and better things. And if it doesn't, hey, we're still going to be here providing you great Disney yep. content every single time of the year that we can. Speaking of that, uh, for great future content. Yes. We have D23 next week. Yes. Um, we have Galaxy's Edge. We also have Galaxy's Edge coming up two weeks from now. Uh, we have an Animal Kingdom after hours event tonight, mm -hmm. so we're gonna have a great time bringing that to y'all, seeing if it's worth the money, which Flight of Passage, Shorter Line, I think that's worth it alone, much less 100%. less crowds all around the park. Right. But anyway, guys, thanks to the NBA once again. Show us support, y'all know what to do. Uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed today just as much as we did. So we'll see y'all later. How you doing team? This is Captain America at Disneyland. I'm Callie. I'm Rachel. Yo, this is Gino Seagus from Pair Kings. 
Hi, I'm the DTM. Hi, this is Kelly, the Disney Traveler, and you just watched the Disney Kremlins. Thanks for watching the Disney Kremlins. To my boys Chase and Cody Disney Kremlins, and don't forget to always represent.